coordinating school, social life, work, gym is not easy. So I've been able to do so in the past year or so. And uh, today I want to share with you some simple principles and steps that you can follow so that you can do it too, uh, because balance is the key for success and at the same time for happiness. So follow me. Okay, let's go straight to the point, uh, how to balance school, work, gym and relationships. So first of all, one of the best thing that you can do is to get yourself an agenda calendar. Okay, I have mine here right now. Okay. 2023 and every night before going to sleep from months now I write down all of the things that I have to do the day after look months that I do this okay and it's it's it kept me very uh, productive and uh, so I do it every night before going to bed every night before going to bed write down what you have to do the day after okay you can find easily one of these on Amazon for like five bucks and it's gonna really truly help your produ pro productivity okay so you will have more productivity and you wa you'll waste less time and energy on remembering what to do trying to um, you know um, remember everything okay and uh, once you do something erase it because once you erase it uh, one of the things you write on the calendar uh, you'll have you'll feel a dopamine rush you'll feel good because you did something good, okay? And what's that going to do? It's going to motivate you to erase more stuff on the calendar, on the agent, and um, so that you'll stay motivated, more motivated for the rest of the day and do all of your tasks, tasks easily, okay? So another thing, okay, let's imagine we have a 24 hours budget. Our day is 24 hours, okay? Let's start from school. I still, I'm currently on my last year of high school and uh, I stay at school for six hours every single day. And um, it's hard to keep up with everything, all the dates, uh, tests, assignments, okay? So what I do, I write on my agenda um, every single important date, every important assignment I have, because if you are able to do that, if you are able to perform well on those assignments, your grades still will be good, okay? Even even if you are not very um, careful at school or you don't pay attention, okay? You're still gonna have good grades because you don't miss the most important stuff of the year, okay? So you always get prepared for tests because you know the dates. You will always remember when you have a test, okay? And uh, <coughs> since you're most likely to spend at least six hours a day at school, um, you can't waste any of it, okay? One of the goals you should have if to, is to finish school at school, okay? So we always have some spare time at school. We always have uh, maybe out of six hours, we work five. And we have one hour free, okay? Combining all the spare time. If we are able to uh, use that spare time and do the homework that uh, we would have to do in the afternoon, that would help a lot, because so in the afternoon we can focus on gym and work and relationships, okay? So the main goal you should have is to finish school at school. Once you're out of school, school is done, okay? So to do that, of course, sometimes you might have some homework and uh, your goal should be to finish that at school during your spare time. Okay, now, Let's talk about work. Uh, for, what do I mean for work? In my case, I'm a, um, a digital entrepreneur. So I work on my business. I'm a copywriter. I'm a freelancer. And uh, now I'm a YouTuber. I mean, YouTuber. I'm a creator too. And um, I, I would say that uh, my work requires me two hours. Okay, in two hours a day focus, I can get all my stuff, all my stuff done. While I understand that you, if you have a physical job, it won't be two hours, okay? So you're probably um, going to lose some time for relationships if you also have a regular, nine to, no, not nine to five, but a part-time job in the afternoon. But still, uh, one of the, one, the most important thing that you can do to minimize the time that you spend working is uh, to focus on deep work. Okay, 
Look at this. This is a book I read, Deep Work, from uh, Carl Newport. Okay. One of the best books I've ever read. It helped my productivity a lot. It spiked up. And uh, why is that? Because we generally... So, in a world that is so distracted, distractive, okay, we're always on our phone, always on social media, here, there, we just keep on losing attention. And our brain is not fast in switching from an, uh, an action to another. And, one of the, and in the book, he gives you some good tips and advices on how to be more productive and uh, be focused. Because the ability of focusing today is so rare that... The, only that alone will give will almost give you certainly success you'll certainly be successful in the future because nobody is capable of being focused and one of the traits of the most successful people is that they are focused they're able of focusing for more time longer and deeper okay so read that book uh, it's on amazon and uh, it's called deep work okay now how to set goals for your work. If you're a digital an entrepreneur in general, you'll have some goals, okay? What I would, te- what I would tell you is um, don't set goals like, oh, I want to do 5K within five months. I want to do 5K a month, stuff like that. No, focus on goals. Like when I had to outreach to people to find the clients for my copywriting, uh, what I would do is set a goal of sending 50 outreaches a day, no matter what. Okay, that's an achievable goal because that goal is all up to me. Nothing can get between me and reaching my goals. There's no outside uh, factors, nothing. There's just me. Okay, so set the reasonable and uh, action goals that you can take, no matter that are totally under your control. And, um, of course, in the days where you're not as busy, in my case, because uh, the more work I put in, the more I get, uh, the more I get out, out of it. Uh, I, when I don't have schoolwork, uh, then I, when I don't have much schoolwork, even at school, I, uh, I'll do work. I mean, I'll work on my business at school if I have some spare time, okay? Now, let's talk about the gym. Let's talk about the gym, okay? Because many people think that they should spend... Uh, Two hours a day at least in the gym doing four sets per exercise three exercises per body part no um, how can I say this um, yes there are people who like you see Mr. Olympias that work uh, hours and hours and hours at the gym every day but uh, some scientific research is found that uh, it's not necessary for a good body. All that is necessary is to damaging the muscle. Because when we put stress on the muscle at the gym, we kind of damage damage our um, our muscle. Okay, and then resting our muscle get bigger and stronger. So it's all about damaging the stressing the muscle enough and resting enough. And to damage and stress the muscle enough. All you need is one set till failure. And you can find this, it's called HEAT, High Intensity Training, okay? This is the book I read about it, High Intensity Training, Mike Manser. He was actually a Mr. Olympia and he worked out two hours a week. You know what I mean, right? Two hours a week. People, like some Mr. Olympias, spend four hours a day in the gym. They don't have a social life. And that's not our goal. Our goal is to be balanced and to have a fit body, a good body. Like, you can finish a workout in 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Like, if you read the book, it's, like, mind-blowing. You can finish a workout in 15 minutes. Like, now, I said that if you don't... Oops. If you actually don't want to do this, you can spend more than an hour and a half working out. It won't be optimal and you lose so much time that you could spend with family and friends having fun. And that's important too, okay? So, this, I'm not going to talk about this long. You can find vis- videos on YouTube. Again, his name is uh, Mike Menser. And uh, one of the best bodybuilders of all time, golden uh, golden era, and stuff like that. 
and uh, his idea was to work with a higher intensity so you spend your body can't stand uh, too high intensity for long time so you'll work out less time and have more results okay uh, now let's talk about another important thing social life and relationships okay now, let me drink a moment So, 24 hours total. Our day is 24 hours. Okay? Six hours we spend them at school. Two hours we spend them working. An, an hour and 30 at least, I mean, no, an hour 30 max at the gym. Let's say we sleep eight hours, because I'm going to talk about uh, sleep in some next videos. And that's just so fundamental. Sleep is just changes everything. Let's say we get 8 hours of sleep every single night. We will have 6 hours and a half left in our day to spend however we want. Now, that's not, those are not bad numbers. Now, let's say of those 2.5 hours, we spend 2 of them eating. Okay? E easily 2 hours eating. You'll still have more than four hours to spend with family, friends. You can go have a soccer game, soccer practice, do whatever. Okay? And uh, even if you have a girlfriend, like I'm going to tell you now, and I did these mistakes in my past, that's why I'm talking about them, is uh, you can't spend too much time with your girlfriend or whatever. Because um, let me... Let me see if I remember the quote is relationships don't end by starvation. They end by indigestion. Okay, so you can an um, relationship won't end if you don't see each other enough. It will end if you see each other too much. Okay, but I'm going to talk about this in some next videos. And another thing is uh, what I talked uh, in the previous video is if your friends uh, go to the gym uh, like you should surround yourself of people of guys who go to the gym you should surround yourself of guys who go to the gym uh, because it will help you progress faster and be more motivated and enjoy the process more at the same time while doing that you'll be able to first get bigger stronger better enjoy it more and that's and that, that's good but at the same time you're gonna be able to spend time with your friends okay so you'll do two time two things at the same time um now mm -mm -mm. okay just a pro tip uh, about sleep if you don't get enough sleep now my in my case it's eight hours but generally it goes around from seven to eight hours the optimal time to sleep um, if you don't prioritize your sleep, you'll feel tired the next day. If you feel tired, you won't be able to do all the things you set out to do. That's just not possible because you'll feel tired, overwhelmed, lazy. You'll spend more time on social media. And that's all connected to sleep, your sleep quality, your sleep time. So you need the quality sleep and quality time. Okay? And I'm talk about, I'll talk about sleep in a whole different video, more in detail, etc. Uh, but uh, sleep is the key to balance. It, sleep is the thing that balances your day and your life. So um, prioritize your sleep. That's all I'm saying. Okay, now if today, that's all for today. If you learned something, uh, take action. Do what I just said and let me know if your day feels better and more balanced and if you are more productive. I actually found uh, this way very good. And I um, hope you enjoyed the video, learned something, take action, subscribe and stay tuned.